Hi, everybody. It's still uh, July 31, 2021. I apologize for my part one where I ended this video just going, ah, because I can't listen to these lies anymore. I just, it's, everything's a freaking lie. Everything. Okay. Well, for those who didn't see part one, Georgia parents in Gwinnett County, they are upset. The mask mandate once again put those young, young children in masks and ruin their brains. Breathing is really important to developing brains. Breathing that is not impeded by a mask. The children, it's been established. Children very rarely get this virus and they don't transmit it, but stick them in masks. Makes sense, doesn't it? Hope you said no. So I'll, I'll just play a little bit of this. The Delta variant giving new life to the pandemic and to protesters. Holly Terry, among the parents who are opposed to Gwinnett County Schools and other school systems reinstating mask mandates. We do not co-parent with the CDC. We don't co-parent with our school district. These are our children, and we are more than capable of making these medical decisions. The Delta. And that's right. Parents, get involved. It is your duty, it is your responsibility to protect your children. So, Australia, wow, okay, making sure, did you see any, well, a lot of you didn't know that I was posting on my backup channel because I couldn't post on this channel, well, YouTube gave me a community guideline strike, so I'm back, but on my backup channel, the link is below the video. You will see the the protest in in Australia last week were so huge. Uh, it was very inspiring and also frustrating to watch because here I am in the good old U.S. of A. And well, it's hard. Okay, it's just really hard. Um. They did not want that happening again. So the tyrants unleashed their order followers. Good evening. Sydney police have gone to extreme lengths pulling off one of their biggest ever operations to prevent an anti-lockdown protest in the city. Checkpoints were set up on major roads while officers massed in the CBD. On a day that saw 210 new cases of the Delta strain, authorities were determined to crush a potential super-spreading event. The most fearsome police operation in recent memory. From the sky and on the streets. Tasked to overwhelm and smother any hint of protest which swept across the CBD just seven days ago. Today's show of force involved a warren of checkpoints, with 1,300 police essentially locking down Australia's biggest city, stopping motorists tens of kilometres away to check addresses and confirm why they were on the road. What's the reason for travelling out today? Frustrating because we're actually going to get vaccinated. But I understand that it's a, a ring of steel to, to stop the protesters. That ring of steel clamping down our Iron Lady. The Sydney Harbour Bridge Tunnel closed in both directions. The Eastern Distributor at Moore Park, a checkpoint, created a choke point. And this was the snaking scenes of those heading southbound on the Pacific Highway at Gore Hill. I think it's a bit ridiculous, you know. OK, yeah, they've got to, um, you know, make sure people are not going to protest. But at the end of the day, people like me are affected because I have to go to work. Tap. And that's our problem. Those two that were interviewed. Well, the first guy was, I guess, bringing his mum to get vaccinated. And the second one, I got to go to work. Well, I understand why you have to do this. No, 
You got to look into it and find out what's going on. You are literally turning into a tyranny. Every single day it gets worse and worse for all of us. But Australia, you have led the way. Oh my God, do people need to wake up? Of course they do. Taxis and Ubers also banned from picking up passengers with an exclusion set up stretching across all four corners of the city from Milsons Point to Edgecliff to Zetland and west to Lilyfield. The only loophole was medical emergencies. We don't apologise for today's operation. We've made it very, very clear that uh, people should not go into the city and engage in activity like we saw last week. Poli okay, listen to him now. I'd like to begin by sending one final message to anyone who is intending to go into the city to engage in protest activity. Do not do it. Our policing operation um, has been in place since early this morning. Up to a thousand police officers, uh, including a range of specialist resources, are on the ground already. So do not go into the city to protest. Strike Force seasoned investigators have been continuing their investigations into the events uh, of last week's protest. 85 people have been charged to this date. Th over 300 infringement notices have been issued. And just last night, a 49-year-old man from the Central Coast was uh, charged with criminal offences relating to the incitement of last week's protest online. In terms of the wider compliance operation, uh, in the last 24 hours, 384 infringements have been issued, 41 persons have been charged with offences relating to uh, breaches of the public health orders. Police have responded to almost 1,500 COVID-related jobs, 885 of those were Crime Stoppers calls. Crime Stoppers all over the world. Call Crime Stoppers when you see somebody who's not wearing a mask. Call Crime Stoppers when you see somebody on the internet that might be leaving a comment or speaking something that you don't like. Okay, that's what's happening. The Stasi state has been established. It's only going to get worse with your fellow prick who calls in the authorities on you. Dare you have your mother come over. Dare you exercise outside your uh, zone that has been handed to you by the authorities. It is our fellow citizens in our respective countries that are doing this. They are digging our grave. You know, and you can, I, I mean, I, I was listening to this guy and I was thinking, where are the adults? Where are the adults? Why, why is no one asking for evidence? They're destroying your life and you don't want evidence to check out what these people are saying? And this guy, I, I mean, it, it's kind of like, oh, God, you have an abusive daddy that you have to listen to? Just it, his tone, everything about him is trash, and you're listening to him. Would you be able to give us an update on the investigation into four New South Wales health staff that may have attended the protest last weekend? Sure, yeah, look... Can I just say how disappointed I was as the New South Wales Health Minister to hear that uh, um, there had been, first of all, the, the protest itself, but secondly, the fact that four star health staff would think it was appropriate to go to such a, uh, a demonstration. Um, investigations are currently um, continuing with uh, both health and the police. I understand there was uh, one paramedic and I think uh, two either assistants in nursing, nursing or nursing staff and uh, one other that I'm just not sure about at this stage, but the investigations are continuing. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a fine line, isn't it? People, you know, democracy are entitled to demonstrate legally, but of course it wasn't a legal demonstration. It was absolutely not approved by the police. That makes it illegal? You and the police get to decide when people can protest and when they can't? Why? 
why is it that we have so many adults who truly have a kitty psyche and they have to listen to daddy or mommy tell tell me what i can do and what i can't do i don't want to get in trouble holy shit at this stage you know that we're in at this point that we still have these people it's only going to get worse because people are going to get more and more scared oh my god i can't leave a comment that well, what I was hearing in my brain, I can't put that down on the internet. I'm going to be picked up. I can't go to a protest. Daddy said I can't. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't tell my neighbors. I have to watch out for them because they might call crime stoppers on me. Duke Hospital, North Carolina, and I believe I have a subscriber there. I just really need to take a stand for our freedom. If someone does not comply with that policy, it could lead to termination. Healthcare workers, hospital staff, and activists took to the streets outside of Duke University Hospital today, protesting Duke Health's vaccine mandate to employees. Good evening, I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter, glad you could join us tonight. This comes as Duke Health and other healthcare systems are facing a shortage of nurses. And with this new mandate, they could lose even more staff this fall. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at Duke University Hospital tonight. And Crystal, do we know what percentage of these employees are not vaccinated? Well, Duke health officials say 23% of their employees have not gotten the vaccine. They're hoping a majority of these individuals will comply with their vaccine mandate. If not, they could lose their jobs. With their banners and signs, there has to be a right to refuse. Everyone from healthcare workers to activists lined up on the sidewalk in front of Duke University Hospital, calling Duke Health's COVID vaccine mandate for employees unconstitutional. It needs to be an individual choice, and we need to decide what's best for our families. Christy Rasmussen is a nurse at Duke Regional Hospital who has not gotten her COVID vaccine, and she's prepared to lose her job if it comes to that. I know that sometimes we need to take a stand and choose what we believe compared with uh, the security of a job. But with COVID hospitalizations up, Duke Health officials say the COVID vaccine is key to fighting the virus and keeping everyone safe at the hospital. We need to keep everyone safe and the vaccine will help us do that. Right now, 23% of Duke Health employees are still not vaccinated. This means thousands of employees at Duke Health could lose their job if they're not vaccinated by September 21st. And Duke Health is already experiencing a shortage of nurses. Even if you could lose some nurses, Nurses, uh, amidst this nursing shortage, you still feel it's necessary to require healthcare workers to get the vaccine right now? This is, we believe this is a very necessary step for us. This is really about, again, safety and, and the tremendous responsibility we have as healthcare providers uh, in caring for our communities. Okay, so if the numbers are going up and it's so important to protect your patients and well then why are you putting it off until wasn't the date September 21st why put it off at all if it's so crucial to protect well virtually anyone why are you putting it off oh well just a question And I asked Duke Health how many of their nurse positions are vacant, but they said they did not have that information available. Reporting live in Durham. Oh, man. Another one in uh, South Dakota. Now, you know, uh, Nome, is that how you pronounce the governor's name? She didn't do any lockdown, no mask mandates, but... Hospitals are South Dakota. We are organized to be out here because we want freedom of choice with the vaccine. It has not stood the test of time as all the other vaccines we take and give our children have. We need more time. We need more research. 
none of these vaccine companies have liability. So if you develop a health problem, and many people have, you are on your own medically. Nobody's gonna come in with a $200,000 check to pay your medical bill or your time off work if there's a problem with the vaccine. So when COVID was pretty bad, I got my vaccine um, December 23rd, 2020, and I, had a, I was in the ED like less than a week later. I ended up like having extreme left arm pain and shoulder pain, which turned into adhesive capsulitis where my shoulder was frozen. So I had to get a steroid shot eventually to free that up. I've had all kinds of heart problems with like fast heart rate, high blood pressure. Um, I'm dealing with some peripheral neuropathy in my hands. But yeah, so I got hurt. Uh, what, uh, they denied me workers' compensation because even though they had uh, encouraged it and pushed it and said that it was safe, but they uh, denied me workers' comp because it is a quote unquote voluntary vaccination up until I guess like a week ago when they made it mandatory to get it by uh, September 21st uh, by 10 a.m. Otherwise, you'll get terminated. Not to get the vaccine just doesn't make any sense to me. And working in a hospital without being vaccinated doesn't make any sense to me because you're just exposing people to getting sick. And I, I feel that the freedom, you know, people saying their freedom's being taken away, but I feel that freedom is when you're affecting the community with this freedom, and that's just not right. Does she not know that the vaccinated are actually spreading? Does she not know that? I guess I'll, they're gonna can me, I know it. Um, look what they're saying, <laughs> you know, okay. So they, interview the protesters or the counter protesters and you hear someone like that like this woman and she's mouthing something that's not true and she doesn't know it so these are the people who are destroying our freedom make no mistake there is nothing you can do about Biden, Pelosi, AOC, uh, Bill Gates, Fauci, you can't touch them. You, you really kind of want to touch these people, but their brains are so molded by mainstream media, they're closed. So trying to have adult conversation with the kiddies you're kind of left with, yeah, your enemy right there. But, you know, okay, first I want to show you, I have a Never Lose Truth Odyssey channel with a lot of videos that I cannot post on YouTube because of censorship. Oh, whole lot of experts and people in the medical field and others who have fallen victim. Lots, okay. Um, that dis that that literally disputes everything you're hearing from our enemy. And. I hope you come over here and and hit the is it follow follow button because I'm other sites are taking us down. So yeah, um It's hard to be living this, guys. So, listen to this. It tells us just how dangerous the Delta variant is. The report finds that the variant is as contagious. The CDC report. The Delta variant is as contagious as the chicken pox and definitely far more serious than the common cold or flu. 
The CDC report also says that the Delta variant is so dangerous that it can even be passed on by vaccinated people. While those fully vaccinated were less likely to become infected, once they contracted breakthrough infections due to the Delta variant, they might now be just as likely as the unvaccinated to pass the disease on to others. Okay, so what makes vaccinated people safe? Nothing. Nothing. So she's dead wrong. So is that administrator now um, that you heard somewhere interviewed dead wrong. Anybody care? Even a CDC report vaccinated can spread. Fauci said, I heard this video posted by a subscriber. Fauci said those vaccinated can get this variant, but they'll be asymptomatic. Well, a lot of vaccinated are ending up in the hospital. But Fauci says they can be asymptomatic with the Delta variant, those who are vaccinated, and go out and spread. So this woman is dead wrong, ignorant, and dangerous, along with, you know, this woman. Okay. Chicago had their... Lollapalooza, is that what it's called? Lollapalooza. Music festival. All vaccinated or tested. No one wearing a mask? would never know that COVID's going on being at Lala. It was really worked out that they did a lot of planning beforehand because the event was seamless. No one wearing a mask? And those vaccinated are the spreaders? Hmm. Nothing is making sense. But Canada, okay, you got a protest to keep your restrictions. In Alberta, so your uh, provincial officials lifting your restrictions, but these are Canadians who are protesting to keep them in place. They're actually protesting for tyranny. This I've never seen. <laughs> uh, okay. Who's help? Our help. Who's help? Our help? People gathered here today in front of the McDougal Center to march in response to the government's decision on August 16th to stop contact tracing, mandatory quarantine, and the removal of masks. Protesters applaud as Dr. Joe Vipond exclaims. You're not going to do this in my province. While hundreds came together in Calgary, in Edmonton, roughly 250 people turned outside the Alberta legislature to raise their concerns about the government's latest move to reduce the remaining COVID protocols. This is uh, the beginning manifestation or demonstration of the outrage that uh, we've been hearing from Albertans uh, over the last 48 hours uh, since that announcement was first made. People are dumbfounded. They are shocked. The lifting of these final... What do you say? What do you say uh, to that? These people should stay home, close their door, and never go outside until this virus suddenly disappears. That's what they should do. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Garcetti, mayor of Los Angeles, got his home vandalized. Home of L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti was vandalized overnight. Demonstrators apparently opposed to the recent homeless sweeps through various things at the Getty House during a rowdy demonstration. Several windows were broken, graffiti was sprayed on the sidewalk, signs were posted on the property, and toilet paper was thrown into the trees and along the fence line. The protesters cleared out before police arrived. Why can't we get rid of the tyrants? Why? But sometimes I wonder, you know, is this also a staged act so that the government officials are going to get more security and it's almost like that division, you know, the wall between those who control your life and those who are controlled. We're going to see a lot of changes. This is in uh, London. The health workers, they're protesting because they don't like their raise of 3%. They want, they want more. They want more. They want more. How many have been put out of work in London, in, in the UK? Boris Johnson, hear us shout! And Boris, we want you out! I don't like these people. Scotland, uh, Glasgow. Are the Scots kind of like Americans? The Irish came out in huge numbers. Aussies came out in huge numbers. London, oh my God. Huge numbers. Not so much Scotland and... Though I do think that there was a pretty big protest in Scotland, so I should... I'm sorry, retract what I just said. France. have to say that the French are definitely they have a they have a psyche that gets them out on the street to fight now Macron passed the vaccine passport despite all the huge protests in France but they don't give up they don't give up hats off Hats off to you. But also everyone that is fighting in whatever way you can. Because, yeah, we are going into a totalitarian global society. It's not going to be fun. 
it's not fun already. I mean, uh, Palestinians fighting evictions. Now, at least about 250 of the Palestinian protesters were injured on Friday following the action by the Israeli military. Palestinian protesters hurled stones at the Israeli troops who responded with live ammunition. And all of this happened during a funeral march, which the Israeli troops said uh, was more responded to with riot dispersal means and rounds of gunfire. The most of those who were injured on Friday needed treatment for tear gas inhalation, while several Palestinians were injured by live fire and rubber bullets. The heaviest clashes were in Bieta village near Nablus in the western in West Bank, where residents have held a regular protest against the Israeli occupation since the month of May. And the kicking of Palestinians out of their homes. You know, I, I came across this video. And it's very long. It's two hours of these protests. And, you know, if you put this in black and white, you'd think you were back in, you know, Stasi, Germany. Cement blocks. I think the world's uh, human race really needs to face their own self in the mirror. And ask yourself, what side are you on? The tyrannical or free? Because it's become that black and white. There's no denying. You sit back and do nothing. You're on the I want tyranny side. You do whatever it is that you can. You're on the freedom side. Iran... They're still out on the streets fighting water shortages due to, quote-unquote, drought. Yeah. If you didn't see Iran protests come up and there was no audio, you'd think you were in Portland, Oregon. And I don't get what's going on. I, I included this because I want to know. Vienna, Austria. Far-right groups protest ban of their logos? Well, doesn't look like this is a far-right group. What? Everything is now classified in far right or uh, you're a social justice warrior there's no audio um, I do have Austrian subscribers so if you guys could tell us what's going on here what's the yellow and what's the black uh, it, it appears because I did come across um, this little blurb because nothing is under this video that explains it but an awful lot are elderly and seemingly diverse group you know are they suggesting that you are these Nazis by saying you're far right But I don't know what these groups stand for either. So, what did I come across here? Um, so, this is the logo that you can't now, it's banned? I want to know why. Far right group supporters demonstrate in Vienna over ban of their logos. I identitarian movement and the Austrians gathered in Vienna to demonstrate against the ban of the symbols of the 
two far-right groups. So what are these groups? I really could find very, very little. I was surprised I even came up with this. Yeah, the uh, symbol, the Greek letter lambda, symbol of the Austra Austrians, is a stylized mountain range in red, white, and red. Both symbols were banned. All right, well, if you know anything about this, please. They say here, the law which already prohibits the use of symbols linked with the so-called Islamic State okay, was also expanded to cover more Islamist militant groups as well as the Turkish Marxist-Leninist Revolutionary People's Liberation Party Front. I don't know. So let us know. Anyway, I have one more video up here. What is it? Oh, Auckland, New Zealand. I guess a protest is coming. Here, you got your bikers. It, they're rolling and gathering numbers to protest in Auckland, Queen Street. people protesting all over and we don't have much going on here you get some parents protesting you know having to put their kids back in the masks and you know unfortunately what happens with these medical workers is they're not kind of protesting or getting out to these hospital administrators that no we do not want a mandate it's kind of like the mandate comes and then they protest, you know. We're, we're sitting, we already have heard, mandates are coming. More lockdowns are coming. Vaccine passports are coming. Hello? Anybody home in there? U.S. of A? We're just going to sit back and it's going to happen. Yeah, there are going to be some protests, but... Sure would love them to end up being the size of the Austrians, I mean the uh, Australians, and the Brits, and the Irish, and yeah, I do recall that protest in Scotland that was pretty darn big. And then you have all of the protests in other countries, and the Czech Republic, the, uh, you got South America, South Americans protesting. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Anyway, stay safe, everyone.